Hello, hello friends, it's Brooke Sidney here, your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And today I wanted to talk to you about how your desires are actually leading you to enlightenment or your best self and why you need to persist, right? I had a couple of ideas of how I wanted to title this video, but ultimately we're talking about our desires leading us to our manifestation, our highest self, and the value of persisting. But before I get into it, I just wanna remind you there are two ways to work with me. Both ways are listed below. I've also added a way for you to get on my email newsletter. I'm jumpstarting this amazing newsletter that's gonna have a lot of amazing um, mindfulness, mindset, and manifestation things to really help us break through, to get the manifestations that we want now and in 2024. So make sure you get on the list. That information is listed below. And I have two groups for those of us on this manifestation journey. That information is also below. So today I wanted to get into it. I have been getting major downloads about kind of this next level of, I feel like evolution or human revolution or how we want to look at it that helps us manifest the things that we want to manifest. And I think it begins by, first of all, understanding, and I say it all the time, exactly what we want to manifest, exactly what we want and being very clear and being super specific about what that wish fulfilled, that dream actually looks like. Um, how can we manifest something if we don't actually know what our dream is, if we don't really know what is exciting us, activating us, and truly motivating us to work on manifesting it, right? Because ultimately, this manifestation journey, and I've made it no secret on this channel, is really a self-development or personal transformation journey. So whether you're coming here to manifest love or your SP as it's known in this community or more money or a house, it ultimately, my friends, it boils down to manifesting your best self to becoming your best you, to tapping into your God self, your higher self, to co-create with God, the 5D, the universe, whatever it is for you. And so today I really wanna talk about two phrases that are key nuggets to our spiritual evolution and to manifesting what we want. So in some communities or Buddhist communities, we hear the term, earthly desires lead to enlightenment, right? Earthly desires lead to enlightenment, meaning whatever you're desiring on this earth, on this planet is going to help you evolve, right? It's gonna help you become your best self. It's gonna help you manifest the things that you want in life. It's gonna help you serve others, right? Your gifts to this world, your purpose, the things you're trying to manifest, your desires are ultimately here, not just for you, but to serve others as well. A similar statement is also made in what we consider like the Christian faith. Um, and that is that God will give you the desires of your heart, right? Those messages to me are very, very closely aligned. And they speak of, for one, getting clear on your desire. Everything from think and grow rich to the Bible, to Buddhist texts, to metaphysical texts, whatever your spiritual tradition is and wherever philosophy anchors you on this planet, it always talks about having some sort of desire, having some sort of wish and being very clear and very specific about it, right? Knowing exactly what you want. And I believe that the purest desires, right? The desires that not only I feel like feel downloaded, feel um, unique to us, feel special to us, are higher desires. They are desires from God or they are desires from the 5D, desires from the universe, whatever that is to you. And so I think so often we don't honor that. We shrink down from them. We disguise our dreams. We lower our dreams. We change our dreams. We in a sense, dirty our dreams. I've I've totally fallen prey to this. I have created big dreams, but then when someone told me they weren't realistic, I dumbed them down or I changed them altogether. 
And I feel like all of those steps though, which is my next big point, your desires actually lead you to enlightenment because of the steps along the way of you becoming the best you. I believe, and I've seen it in my life, I've seen it in my client's life, I've seen it in my spiritual communities, where God places some desire in your life, right? Your earthly desire, however you want to look at it, in your life for you to have something to polish your life for, for you to have a reason to become your best self, for you to go on the spiritual journey and the personal journey of elevating your thoughts, elevating your consciousness, elevating your contributions, elevating your service to yourself and to mankind. That is how we grow and develop. And ultimately, that's how we manifest. Many of you think that manifestations is all about affirmations or it's all about visioning. It's all about some technique. And I've talked about it before and I'll tag that video. Manifestation is not about the techniques. The techniques do not manifest. You are actually the manifester. You are co-creating and you are manifesting. You are polishing your life. You are upgrading your mindset. You're up-leveling the way that you think about yourself and your self-concept. And to me, that is the beauty of the desires. That's what it's meant when we say that our earthly desires lead us to enlightenment or God will give you the desires of your heart. Yes, God will, but guess what? You have to become the person who has the thing. You have to be able to receive it. You have to, as they say in law of attraction, be on the vibration, be on the frequency of the person that has it so that you can actually receive it and hold on to it. In other words, you have to prepare yourself. Now, for all of my people that follow the Christian faith, we always talk about God is pre preparing us. God is preparing us. God's preparing us to receive it. We have to be positioned, right? But he wouldn't give it to us if we weren't the right vessel. But sometimes we have to be cleaned up as an Esther. Or we have to be, you know, taught or we have to be given pieces step by step. My friends, that is a spiritual journey. That is a manifestation journey. And that's ultimately your personal transformation journey. It is to grab a hold of your deepest, your highest, your biggest dream, your biggest desire to get super clear about it, right? And I've talked about the desires videos and I'll tag those to then... Go within, which is where we birth everything from. It's where everything comes from, the inside out. And then we use whatever technique works for you. I think that we need to begin with prayer and meditation, so I'm going to tag my meditation videos. But ultimately, whether you use affirmations, ask formations, visualizations, any of these things, and I have my approaches, so make sure you're following this channel, make sure you're subscribed. But ultimately, this is a journey of you and you and you and your higher self, you and God, you and the 5D. And if anyone tells you otherwise, they are joking with you. This is about developing who you are, how you think, and who you believe yourself to be. And that desire, that dream needs to be big enough to motivate you to persist, which is my last point. We must persist until we have it. We must trust that we are the people that are going to have it. And then we are developing ourselves, our mindset and becoming the self, stepping into the self concept, putting on the ideas and the mind of the person who has it. Many of you that believe in multiple universe, multiverse, think that there is another reality of you somewhere else. There is a reality of you that already has whatever it is you desire. Your job is to become that person and your desire and whatever obstacles and challenges and things that come up along the way that allow you to learn more about yourself, that allow you to put yourself back on the pedestal, that allow you to grow you, clean out those thoughts and beliefs and stories that are not working for you and start replacing them with ones that do, that is a persistence journey. You persist until you have it. You persist until it shows up. You persist until you are in your dream fulfilled. And most importantly, you persist until you're the person who knows that it is you that are creating these things and that it is you reflected outwardly. And that honestly, God, the 5D is waiting on you to step up. The dream has already been given. That means that it already exists, right? Nothing, no energy can be destroyed or created. 
it is already finished. The goal here is for you to step into it for you to persist in the dream because we know that earthly desires lead to enlightenment, AKA the manifestation of the highest form of you and God will give you the desires of your heart. So use those desires to manifest your best self and your best life. It is my hope and desire and intention that this video has been useful and helpful to you on your personal and manifestation journey. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it out, y'all, share it out. There is someone that could benefit from this good word, from good news, especially right now, and turn that bell on so you know when I drop videos. See you soon.